Hey everybody, it's Matt from Fanfare. I'm going to show you off all the new comics that are coming out this week. Starting off here in Marvel, we're looking at Avengers. We also have Captain America Sentinel Liberty, Captain Marvel. We have Damage Control, as well as this paperback here of Aranya, Knight of the Hunter. Very cool stuff. We also have Daredevil. It's an issue one crossover event. It's Dark Web. It's going on right there. Check it out. We also have Fantastic Four issue number two. Ghost Rider issue number nine. We have an Immortal Hulk hardcover here. Very cool stuff. We have Immortal X-Men issue number nine. We have an Inferno paperback up top. We have Marauders issue number nine. And another number one with a ton of covers. This is Miles Morales Spider-Man. They relaunched him after 42 issues. Boom. We've got it. Lots of really neat ones to choose from. They're very cool. We also have a new number one. Again, it's Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur. Very cool stuff. Uh, new Mutants. We also have Predator, Punisher, as well as a paperback for Punisher's new series. Secret Invasion issue number two. Edge of... Sorry. End of the Spider-Verse. It's a Spider-Man issue number three. Star Wars Hidden Empire number two. And I think this is a one-shot. This is Thanos Death Notes with a lot of talent on that book. So check it out. Oh, man. I have not seen the uh, movie poster cover. This is fantastic. I love it. I love anything he does with death. It's great. We also have Thor issue number 29, Tiger Division issue number 2, Variants issue number 5, X-Force number 35, X-Men Red number 9, and Extreme X-Men number 1. And that's Marvel. A lot of X-Men books this week. I think there were six. We have Batman issue number 130 over here for DC Comics. So the Batman Spawn variants are kind of everywhere. We have Batman. We have Batman and the Joker Deadly Duo issue number two. Mark Silvestri stuff's very cool. We have Batman Joker Asylum paperback. Batman Nightwatch number four and Brave and the Bull number 28. First appearance of the Justice League. Excellent, excellent, cool facsimile book up there. Dark Crisis War Zone is a one shot. We have Gotham City Year One issue number three. We also have Joker, the man who stopped laughing, issue number three. Monkey Prince, number nine. Poison Ivy, number seven. They have continued the series. It's fantastic. It's totally one of my favorite books right now. Sword of Azrael, number five of six. And boom, that is DC. On to Image Comics. We have All Against All, American Jesus, Bloodstained Teeth. Um, also, I should note that it is Spawn Crossover Variant Month. So a lot of variants in here are going to be cool Spawn covers. Check those out. Um, we also have Cover Girls from Gillam March, book number one and two of his art. We have Do a Powerbomb number seven with the finale, Wrestling Against God himself. It's insane. What a book. We have Golden Rage, as well as a new number one here. This is Hexware. I'm pretty excited to check this one out myself. We have Kaya, as well as Chroma, number one. I think that might be a later print. And we have Lazarus, uh, book number seven, uh, The Least We Can Do. Little Monsters, really cool cover there. Uh, monstrous, gigantic, hard size on the bus, book number two, Noctera Val Special, one shot. We also have Radiant Pink, a new series here from the Radiant Universe, as well as a paperback for Radiant Red. Seven Suns, part seven, we have Spawn, issue number 336. That Texas Blood, number 20, Undiscovered Country, as well as The Walking Dead Deluxe, and just to show one of those off, Spawn's on the cover. So, moving on down to the indies, a whole lot of indies. We got Behold, Behemoth, pretty cool, as well as as of the Barbed, Blue Flame, Castle Full of Blackbirds, issue number three. We have Dahlia in the Dark, Death Rage, Earth Divers. That one's been really popular. End After End, number four, and Family Time with the cool Jay Lee cover. Like that. We have The Firstborns from, uh, what was that, Sumerian. We also have Funny Creek with the cool Looney Tunes cover there. Good Boy, Prodigal Son from Source Point. Cover shoots from Grim Universe variants. We also have Hellboy in Love, number two of three. This is... It's only Teenage Wasteland. It's only a Teenage Wasteland. I don't know. Looks cool. We have Know Your Station, a new number one here from Boom. I feel like Boom's always got a new number one each week, but that one looks pretty rad. We have Magic the Gathering, issue number 21, as well as a hardcover volume three of Magic the Gathering. My bad. And also, really, or my cat really hates me. A very cutesy book about living with some kitties. We have Night of the Ghoul, the final issue of that can't wait to read that there have been like kind of two and ones from the sub stack very great book scott center francesco frank and Villa. we have the ones from brian michael bendis as well as a new number one here this is frank miller presents pandora very cool stuff from his new uh home comic line over there we also have primos number one of four we have purple oblivion uh quested from whatnot comics tons of covers to choose from in there sarah Lone from sumerian Shock Shop, issue number four, the finale from Colin Bunn. There we have TMNT, number 135, with the Armageddon game tie-in, as well as TMNT, Armageddon game, issue number three. It was fantastic. We have uh, the local comic shop day variant for that one as well. Very cool stuff. That's a Philip Tan cover. Awesome artist. 
We have three of Magic Paperback Transformers Best of Windblade with the Biggie cover. Very cool. Vampirella vs. Red Sonya and some manga time. We have Dragon Ball Super Volume number 17. Formerly the Daughter of the Duke, number two. I'm a wolf, but my boss is a sheep, number two. And this one's really good. This is Orochi by Kazuo Mez, issue number, th volume number three. This is uh, Junji Ito's biggest inspiration. Check that out. And we also have the box set for that time. I got reincarnated as a slime with seven, eight, nine, and 10 and 11 in there. Very cool stuff. On to media, there's a very exciting one to show you this week with a thousand covers. They're all cool. It's Gargoyles! It's back! It's so rad! It's awesome! I know you love it! We have so much to choose from here. Gargoyles number one from Dynamite Comics. Uh, look at all of these different covers. There's so many. Dark Knight nods. We've got VHS ones, action figure ones, uh, Lucio Perillo. There's just so much talent behind that. It's very cool stuff. Come check it out. It's awesome. Over here we have the 100 greatest console video games of all time. Very cool. 1988 through 1998. Showing off some really great stuff. Kind of gives you a history rundown. Very cool coffee table book. I'd love to read that sometime. We have Godzilla, Masters, and Monsters and Protectors, All Hail the King, Ghidorah. Very cool. Best monster. Quick stops. Number two. We also have Predator, a new issue of that. Silent Night, Deadly Night, based on the classic slasher flick. Love that one. Stranger Things paperback. We also have Star Wars, The Hidden Empire. And this is the Star Wars Insider 215 Tusken Raiders variant as well as the regular one are over there kids books ton toys archie christmas spectacular number one we also have create a comic uh color write and draw from scout comics you have my little pony issue number seven sonic the hedgehog issue number 55 and pokemon journeys volume number four manga that's a lot of books so check out all these really cool toys uh we got some pops to start off here this is pokemon uh dragonite 850 we have this cowboy bebop pops very cool stuff Faye Valentine in the cocktail dress. We have Spike Spiegel with the uh, rapier. Jet Black, as well as Ed and Ayn. Very cool one. Uh, just scooting around. We have She-Hulk from the TV show. Very cool. And White Mamba from the Space Jam movie. Just in the nick of time for that theatrical release. For Pop Sodas, we have Hawkman, Vision, and one of the characters from My Hero Academia, Ochako Uraraka. All right, we got two E.T. figures. We have this one here. He actually takes batteries and stuff and lights up his finger and his chest. Very cool. Lots of accurate props. We also have E.T. in the dress. These are both from NECA. Uh, you can just tell by the quality, obviously, all the way. We also have Disney's Hocus Pocus three-pack set of the Sanderson Twist Sisters. Very cool. Uh, more NECA. It's NECA week all the time. We got Predator. This is the ultimate shaman predator. That skull mask is real cool. I love that. And oh my gosh, it is TMNT, Eastman and Laird's Archie Adventures Slash. The color painting looking exactly like the classic Archie comics. It's just amazing stuff. We also have the Moon Knight Pint Glasses Tune Tumblers. Very cool. Over here we have a mess. It is Ed and Ayn from Cowboy Bebop rolling on the scooter. Very cool stuff. And we also have these Ayn pins for your all-time favorite robot dog, Corgi. Fan has got you covered. So thanks for watching, everybody. If you have any questions, the number is 269-349-8866. Have a good night.